my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just Hey guys, welcome back to another video Today I am sharing with you guys some decluttering motivation, some organization motivation, and as we go along I'm going to be cleaning. So if you have been dreading decluttering an area of your house or just putting it off, I hope I can give you some motivation today to get that done, maybe inspire you to just get that tackle today, at least get a start because it feels so good once you've done it. So personally, I feel like the new year is the perfect time to start decluttering and organizing your household. It just feels like you're getting the year off to a fresh start and getting organized in your home. But that doesn't always mean that it's easy. Decluttering can be overwhelming, so always take it one space at a time. This is why today I am starting mainly in my kitchen. It is the thing that bothers me the most right now. I have so many things that I have to put away that I don't have space for, and it was just time to get this tackled and get it done. So when you're starting to declutter, just take it one space at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself with trying to con Mari your entire home in one day because it is just going to be overwhelming. I mean, this is just coming out of my pantry and seeing that spread out on my kitchen floor was overwhelming in itself. But like I said, take it one space at a time and you will be amazed at what you can accomplish and how you're going to feel when you start getting decluttered around your home. So this time around, when I went ahead and rearranged my pantry and decluttered, I took everything out. It was just time to rearrange some things that weren't working for me before, and so that's always really, really good. If something isn't working for you, just try to change things around and make it work for your family. So that is why I took everything out just to rearrange some stuff. I originally organized this pantry two years ago and I wish I had a picture to show you guys of what it looked like before I started buying the Dollar Tree um, baskets and getting it organized because it was just things falling everywhere, a hot mess. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down, feel alive Stars 
gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make I hate that I had to throw away so much expired food, but this is why I do this once a year because so much of the stuff in the pantry we're not using, we're not touching, and when you're not really decluttering and going through the pantry during the year, you just keep sticking more stuff in there and before you know it you don't have space and you're trying to figure out what is going on and I got rid of so much stuff unfortunately that had just not been used. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. This love ain't yours, father take it. And baby this heart can tell what's right or wrong. I know that no love ain't real if something's broken But I know that we both gotta know so after I went through everything in the baskets I started going through all of our spices and you will notice that I have them on these little round cake pans that was a little DIY hack that I had gotten from do it on a dime and it was two round cake pans with marbles in between to make it like a DIY Lazy Susan and I just find that this is a lot easier if I break it up into categories for my husband to just spin and go through the spices rather than having them on like little shelves and in like each beautiful individual containers so I don't bother doing that right now just because it's not realistic for what my husband needs he doesn't need pretty containers with all of the labels and everything he just needs to know what's where and make sure that it's easily accessible for him So these baskets were a new addition to my pantry last year. I did not have them on the two bottom shelves. So while I had everything on the top organized last year, I didn't have these beautiful baskets that I got from Aldi last year. And when I added them, it just gave me so much more storage. I actually have that video that I will link for you guys up in the cards above. But I really feel like these were an amazing addition to the pantry and it just made the pantry look so much more complete. Because our kitchen lacks a lot of storage considering that we have boulder grade cabinets and this pantry is so big I try to make sure that I get the most use out of storage from this pantry and so I like to store our small appliances up there you can see that that pressure cooker did not fit up there so I had to find a different spot for it but we had so many small appliances that we hadn't used in probably years that I took down and I used some baskets that I already had to put the waffle maker and the accessories for the air fryer and just a few other things now ultimately I would like to buy baskets for each one of our small appliances and that way we can keep everything together so for now I just use whatever extra baskets I had but I cannot wait until I can add those to the top of my pantry And just so I could keep going with my decluttering, I had to break down some of these boxes and just get some stuff out of the way. So that's what I'm doing here. This was another trouble spot that was just driving me crazy because every time we opened this cabinet door 
Tupperware was just falling out everywhere. So it was time to get this decluttered. I had a lot of Tupperware that normally I don't usually have a lot of plastic Tupperware, but because we hosted Thanksgiving this past Thanksgiving and Christmas, I had bought some extra plastic Tupperware just so that I had extra for family and friends in case they wanted to take food and I got stuck with a lot of it which is great to have for when you have dinner parties or anything and you have people over but it was just creating a huge mess and you know how it goes you have the containers but not the tops or the tops but not the containers so I just was going through that and getting this spot organized so let me know down in the comments below if you have a Tupperware cabinet that is like overflowing at the brim and <laughs> you're just shoving things back in when you open it You'll also notice that another thing that I keep down here are the kids' cups and plastic bowls and plastic plates. Just now that my daughter is in first grade, she likes to get things for herself. And before, I was keeping them in a cabinet up above out of her reach. And now, between her and my son, he's trying to be a little bit more independent and get his own water from the refrigerator. So, while well, it causes a mess, but that way it's just within reach if they want to grab a bowl or something they can go ahead and do that So my husband is a at-home baker, so he has a lot of baking supplies that we don't have a lot of storage for. So this drawer had gotten to be to the point where we just couldn't close it right and he couldn't find anything when he was baking cakes or cupcakes or things like that for an order. So I knew it was time to get that organized for him. And I am just using little baskets that fit in drawers from the Dollar Tree that I already had. I didn't buy anything new for it. So because I know a lot of these things don't look like baking supplies, keep in mind that he uses some of these things to cut wooden dowels or to cut cardboard boxes and the needles he uses to pop like little the little bubbles in the fondant so a lot of the things they don't look like baking supplies but they are and i make sure that we keep them here so they don't get mixed up with any of the other stuff in the house not talking to you but why are you trying to hold on to hold on to hold on wanna take a different lane wanna play my own game and i don't need your hair so won't you let me go wanna take this ball and chain that you have put on me and throw it out the window i think that you should let go cause you know this is not meant to be let go And the last thing that I did on this day was just declutter and clean up this laundry room because we come in through the garage every day and this is what we come home to. So every once in a while I just like to take everything out and start fresh for the laundry room. Hopefully one day we can get a little bit more storage in here and that way we're not throwing things as much and it, things will have a place to go but in the meantime it just happens to be the place where you can see everything just falls and gets left there for a while so why are you trying to hold on i think that you should let go cause you know this is not meant to be let go I 
got this picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice I hope you guys have gotten a ton of motivation to tackle your own space to declutter today. I know that it is not easy, so hopefully you can get up and say, all right, I'm motivated, I'm going to do it, I'm going to tackle it, and guys, you're going to feel so much better when you do it. Let me know down in the comments below what area of your house you plan on decluttering and if you like this video please leave it a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it and if you're not subscribed to my channel I hope you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you here and I have so much more cleaning and organizing decluttering content coming your way so I hope I will see you guys in my next video. Take care and God bless guys.